having elicited this particular structure, what I'm now able to do is to move on to the actual study activities. Typically, they will be in the form of worksheets to check that the students actually understand this information. So I might prepare three activities. They may not do them all, but for example, I could prepare these three study activities. So the first one is going to be a fairly straightforward matching activity where perhaps they match the subject to its correct verb to be in that part of the sentence. The second one is going to be a gap fill. For example, I might use this verb here and ask them to complete a sentence using that verb so that I can check that any spelling changes that take place are correct. And the final one is going to be an unscramble where each of the sentences themselves are put into the wrong order and they have to recreate the correct order following this particular structure. So the Activate activity is going to try to get the students to use this particular present continuous tense in a realistic setting. Let's assume that we used five minutes up during our engage phase, ten minutes for our board work study, another 10 minutes for them to do the study activities that we mentioned, then that would leave us with about 25 minutes for this particular phase. One of the reasons why there is such a long period for this particular part of the lesson is that it's when the students are actually going to be talking to each other using the language in a realistic way. So our interaction is mainly going to be student to student and then they will feed back that information to us completion of the task so it will also be student to the teacher. This particular activate activity has to be something that will allow the students to use the language in a realistic way. So an example here, each student is going to get an activity picture card and on there will just be a simple cartoon type picture showing some form of action taking place. So for example, it may show, show someone fishing, it may show someone playing football and so on and so forth. They're also going to get a questionnaire and on that questionnaire there's going to be two questions that they're going to ask each of each other. What is your name and what are you doing right now? And each student will get up and it will be a mill drill process where they find out the person's name and what they're doing right now. What each student will report back is the picture that they have, what activity is it showing and so for example they will say I am playing football or I am cooking a meal, and so on and so forth. What we could do here is get the students either to write it in that way, or they can use the person's name, so John is playing football, or Kate is cooking, and so on and so forth. And the students will then feedback those results to the class in the form of sentences.